iron mm -mm, not this but this having an atomic number of 26 and an atomic mass of 56 is one of the most crucial element in both chemistry and nature but do you know that its significance extends beyond chemistry it is one of the most significant minerals for the human body so let us investigate this wonderful equilibrium of biology and chemistry Iron is a necessary component of hemoglobin, the material in red blood cells that transports oxygen from our lungs to the rest of our body. Hemoglobin accounts for around two-thirds of the body's iron. We need to take in this iron in our body on a regular basis via healthy foods and balanced diets. However, at times due to dietary deficiencies or pathological reasons, we develop a condition known as anemia which is caused due to deficiency of iron. This then causes fatigue, shortness of breath, hair loss, nail loss and many other problems. It's scary, isn't it? Then what should we do in order to avoid such a situation? Do we begin consuming iron in this manner? <laughs> no, definitely no. To treat these conditions, doctor would prescribe you some pills that would gradually raise the iron content in your body. But such pills definitely do not feel as hard as iron. Then what do these soft pill contain? Constituents of these iron pills may vary. Some commonly used compounds are ferrous sulfate, ferrous fumarate, ferrous gluconate and oral liposomal forms. Among this, ferrous sulfate is most widely used because it is less costly. In developing countries like India, iron deficiency is the most common cause of anemia and is highly frequent in pregnant women and growing children. In order to address this issue, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and UNICEF have launched many initiatives such as Anemia Mukt Bharat and National Nutritional Anemia Prophylaxis Program. The balance between iron and our body is critical for our survival and we should constantly strive to consume healthy food so that this balance is always maintained. Eat iron else you will rust. That's all for now. For more such content, subscribe to our YouTube channel Experihub Learning or get in touch with us.